Normal Grendel was great for a handful of different reasons. The main one being regurgitate armor reduction. Pulverize armor reduction. Nourish no armor reduction but damage increase and of course feast damage over time. What could make him better? Well, Grendel Prime could, with what is basically 25 extra armor and 25 extra energy. As well as the added polarity, it basically means he's harder to kill and you can cast abilities more often. Apart from that, it's basically 100% cosmetic changes. For the better. Got in just in time actually, because they're about to expire. You're going to need at least two Orgon Crystals to build his Neuroptics. There is obviously other resource costs, including two Niatan Extract for his systems, and technically for some reason two Tellurium for the chassis. And yeah, there is three Neurods. Weirdly, not where you would think there would be. And then going to be 12 hours... I hate the fact you've got to wait for that to come up. Each to build. You can rush them if you need to. I would highly suggest one thing though. Don't rush these and rush this instead. See, just give it some time while you're busy doing something else and there's all the parts done. Then obviously combine them together and then rush it because it, yeah. You can spend 75 rushing all the parts and then 50, or save the 75 and just spend the 50 rushing the 3 day build. Save so much time. Well, so much platinum. That's better. Yeah, anyway. Polarity wise, as you could probably expect, does have extra ones, has 2 Ds, a V, and a dash but I still say this pretty much every time it's a shame that this isn't polarized and the the aura that instantly going to swap that out for a aura former so it can put in any aura you want to so you're not turning around and going well I know enemy radars on constantly so nobody's really gonna be using that but it does extend the range of it yeah pretty much constantly going to be fitting that the rifle amp or the pistol amp because it increases damage same goes with steel charge it increases melee damage no it doesn't yes it does squad receives squad receives and that is 18 percent extra damage i was wrong as for the rest of the build yeah if you were running a grendel you pretty much have a build set up for this anyway since everything about him basically comes down to looks in your opinion, what looks better? His normal helmet, his alternate helmet, his prime helmet, his deluxe helmet, or his void shell? Because, uh, can't help but notice, these are two different helmets. They're not supposed to be, but they are. Very clearly, it moves. Whenever you swap from one to the other, the entire helmet moves, and it is just, um, slightly better in every single way. Prime one wins, though. See? Looks a thousand percent better, whether you are eating enemies, or, well, regenerating yours and other players' health slash whatevers with nourish, or just bouncing around having a bit of fun. He is still Grendel by all means of the motion. Or, of course, you could just, um, you know, throw up on them once you've stripped their armor off them. Because, uh, yeah, that is a thing you can do. Probably one of his, let's call it, best abilities. Armor stripping. Also, I'm hungry. That was only three? Nah. Not. Because Pulverize, his third ability, bouncing around in the ball, depends upon how many people you have basically absorbed with the first ability. That does kind of give added armor if we come back out, you can see it on the right above the name of all of the people I have currently inside of me. That just sounds so wrong. Pulverize will be bigger the more amount of people you have, which means uh, armor reduction. And as you've seen, it worked really well, and yeah, that can also do armor reduction. 
which is even more interesting at 126 percent yep last two enemies need to uh leave the map so i'll just shoot them off in that direction and off they go not to exist anymore because we're gonna have a little bit of a play assuming this oh wow for once it actually worked did it Woo. I want, um, oh, well, that sucks. You two will do, because I'm going to come in and we're going to uh, pulverize over here, and we're going to take that off and shoot this at you. Uh, yeah, as you can see, um, it's kind of the regurgitate, his fourth, that is probably better at armor stripping but it just depends how, ma how many enemies you have inside of you, because that was literally one of each and they're all pretty much dead. I cannot explain that, though. I'm assuming they're the ones that I kind of hit when I went... Because <laughs> they do take a bit of damage over time. And, oh look, you have lost your armor. Spitting the enemies at enemies kind of works better armor reduction than going for the ball. Which, as I mentioned earlier, gets much, much bigger if you actually fill up first. Much, much bigger. Oh, it is so much fun to be playing as Grendel again. If you know how to use him correctly, that is. Armor stripping, kind of one of the, the biggies. He's not really that good at dealing a lot of damage. He can be if built correctly. I kind of went armor reduction more than anything else because it's just uh, more fun. Uh, also, um, I'm hungry again. Spitting them at walls can also deal damage to them, by the way, as you've seen. And then you just spit the one inside of you at the one you just knocked off the ceiling and now they're both dead. Or you just shoot them out of bounds. Can also do the same thing. He is a ton of usefulness. And now he has been primed, he does look so much better. I just wish we could get a bit, well, we can. Kind of cast the ability and freeze it and then you can see his, well, the thumbnail of the video. Probably the best way to look at him. I just kind of wish there was a way you could do that repetitively. Oh, and move while doing it. Because with the mouth open, there's literally nothing in there. This isn't a figuratively, it's, if you look in there, it is empty. You can see the back of him. Which is weird, because you've got to remember, five enemies fit in there. But it's his mouth that makes him Grendel. The Hungry One. Worth priming? Oh yes, much better than the standard version in pretty much every single way. And does look it. From the Prime Helmet to the Goal to the rework of the teeth. This was one Prime worth kind of waiting for. We all know who's next. That one has me a little bit more intrigued. But Grendel, I haven't taken him off in probably a week now. Because all my reduction, well, that can be useful on everything. And with that, I think we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.